And why do I say that? Because after 46 years and teaching you morons for 23 years, you want to take the easy way out. Because you think life is a journey. <laughs> that is horseshit. Life's a journey if you're a moron and you're retarded. That's why, you know, that's what, that's what you've done with the life up here to four. It's been a journey. And how good is the fucking journey? You tell me. And for the most part, most people in this room and most people listening on YouTube have to come to the realization, as sad as it is, that you have pissed, you have urinated heretofore up until this morning, your entire life down a fucking shithole. Very simple. That's it. If you want to create massive wealth, if you just want to be a happy, slappy housewife from fucking Dundee or a happy, slappy bimbo from fucking Toronto or a happy, slappy guy who goes to the Little League games in Mesa, Arizona, then that's okay. But if you want to create some fucking money, and money's not everything. But if you don't money, think money can buy happiness, you don't know where to fucking shop. You can get money and then go save the world. You can get money and save the forests in Brazil. You make money and go save global warming, which I don't believe in. You can, I mean, and save the, uh, the kids in Biafra and all that shit. But without money, you can't save a fucking thing. Don't you understand? Don't the fucking idiots on YouTube understand that? Until you make some shekels. Until you make some fucking coin. You can't help anybody. Because if love got the job done, you wouldn't all be fucked up. And I've had mothers, daughters, grandfather, daughter, uh, son. I've run three generations of the gamut in this seminar here. And they all say the exact same thing. The daughter looks to the mother, you fucked me up. The, do- the mother looks to the father, you fucked me up. And they all agree. And where it really gets dicey is the second or, three day, second or third days after they have a few drinks, a few pops. Then it, gets, it can get fucking ugly, as Sally would say. Fucking ugly. Nothing like a mother to turn on her daughter or vice versa. Nothing like it. It's like in the fucking movies. It's like a goddamn soap opera. Because that's life. And if we admit it to ourselves, then we have an opportunity to move on. If we don't, then we're just fucked in the quagmire. Self-esteem is built the first seven or eight years of life. Now, who are you with the first seven or eight years of life? Mommy. Maybe daddy. An older brother. A grandparent, right? Well, if love got the job done, kids, you wouldn't be fucking sitting here. Love doesn't get the fucking job done. Love has never got the job done. But even if you're, those people did a good job for you those first seven or eight years, uh, then show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Okay, so who are the, the, the meatheads, the three or four or five people that you, you, you go uh, out for a drink with? Uh, I say if you go to sports bars and you belch and you fart, you're going to be belching and farting in a sports bar 35 years from now. And uh, so it's, it's, it's self-esteem is the basis of all excellence. Self-esteem, uh, Donald Trump, whether you li- ha- hate him or love him, uh, uh, Elon Musk, all these guys have tremendous self-esteem. Somebody did something right when they were growing up. Somebody did something right. Uh, and most parents, unfortunately, you know, for arguably the most important thing we're brought on the planet for, procreation, we don't know a fucking thing about. We don't know anything about it. Uh, and, uh, and so, but my parents did some things, some by accident, some by uh, planning, uh, that uh, built my self-esteem. So let's say someone, first seven years of their life, doesn't have a good environment, doesn't have, what can they do now? Like, what's the, the most important thing they need to be doing if they need to build their self Show me your friends, life? I'll show you your future. I mean, the guys that, first of all, high performance, high self-esteem people don't hang out. They don't go to the fucking Super Bowl. They don't go to the Dodger games. They don't go to the Laker games. They still got those teams here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. They don't do any of those things. Uh, Eagles fly alone. 
I have no friends. Friends are problems. Friends are challenges. If you, can't, if you aren't into yourself, and that means something else now than what I mean. If you're not into yourself enough that you can't spend the weekend by yourself, then you're, something's fucking wrong with you. Vis-a-vis -vis self-esteem, being a high-performance person, and accomplishing high-performance acts, something's wrong with you. Uh, and uh, I know high-performance people, uh, and I use myself as an example. For 10 years, I spent at the compound. Uh, there were weeks I never stepped out of the castle into the fresh air. Weeks went by. Now, yeah, it's a big place, but I mean weeks. Months went by, I never went up the fucking compound. Months. I didn't talk to anybody. Um, the, uh, and none of the things that you require or consider as part of your natural life, uh, high performance people don't do. They, they just don't do. Uh, they don't have the need and I, and I put the, the word need in quotes. They don't have the need to be around other people. Um, the, um, you know, the strength in numbers, that's what you're taught. That's, that's wrong. If you're going to be a weak cunt, that's right. There's strength in numbers. You know, if you want to be a weak cunt, that's great. But if you want to be something other than a weak cunt, then you're by yourself. Uh, does... Um, does uh, Elon Musk give a shit what you think about him? Only to the extent that you buy those, his fucking electric cars. I mean, but uh, other than that, he doesn't give a shit. Did Steve Jobs give a shit? No. Uh, does Ellison of Oracle give a shit? No. Does Gates or Zuckerberg or anything? No. And obviously the president doesn't give a shit either. So, I mean, uh, so how do you stack up to, against those people? People in general. They think that reading a book is taking action. They think listening to a podcast is taking action. They think uh, uh, a video or whatever it is is taking action. No! That's fucking procrastination. So you don't have to make a decision. So you don't have to pull the trigger. I mean, there's a big, huge difference. Take action. You know, the, the, uh, as, as you were taught, just fucking do it. We take too much time procrastinating. We take too, and because we're afraid of failure, and, and uh, uh, fear is false expectations appearing real. We're worried about what other people think. We're trying to fit in. And I can go through a whole litany of bullshit. Now, it's not bullshit because it's not true. Litany of stuff why you are where you are because you just didn't do it. You didn't want to make a mistake. You got a mortgage. You got uh, two ex wives. You got a 15 year old daughter who's uh, pregnant. I, your, your, your dad's got Alzheimer's. Your mother's got emphysema spitting up blood. I can go on and on and on and on. But the bottom fucking line is, if you had 15 years ago, you had just done it. 10 years ago, you had just fucking done it. Five years ago, if you had just fucking done it. Six fucking months ago, if you just fucking done it. You probably wouldn't be in the position you're in now. So I'm saying no matter what your age is, it's still time to just fucking go out and do it. Just go out and fucking do it. Instead of trying to be smart, I would just try to be stupid, shut that part off of my brain, and just do it. And what happens? He did it. And that's why it's hard for the YouTubers and all the other... Because you, you, you can't dumb, you know, dumb down. You, you, won't, you will not believe that it's easy. You can't, you know, you won't. <clears throat> but he put it very succinctly. He sh you know, he just dumbed down and shut off that part of his brain and just followed the steps. You don't need fucking case studies. You have a, you have a fucking template. You have a motherfucking script that a fucking monkey can read. That Alex wants a fucking case study. Because he wants to know the shit behind it. Because he's stupid. And that's why he's fucking poor. You don't need any motherfucking case studies. How many fucking times do I have to say? You have the fucking script. I said don't change a fucking word on the script. Not a comma. If it's got misspelled fucking words, send it out misspelled. The last thing you fucking need is a fucking case study.
This is why you're fucking poor. This is why the cocksuckers watching this on YouTube are so fucking poor. Uh, man's greatest burden is unfulfilled potential. Man's greatest burden is unfulfilled potential. And, uh, and uh, I say, when I look at the audiences, uh, and I know that maybe only 1% are going to achieve their potential. Not fully. I, ha I still haven't fulfilled my potential. But un uh, unfulfilled potential is man's greatest burden. And it, it breaks my heart because I know what you kids are, are capable of. I know, I've, I, I've had kids with 80 IQ to 180 IQ that I mentored that have, that have done big, big deals. Actually, the 80 IQ did better than the 180 IQ, mm -hmm. okay? And I know what they're capable of. And I, I know how 10 million or 100 million or whatever the number is changes lives. And, uh, the, uh, and then all of a sudden, you know, uh, you believe that you can walk on water. You believe that you can take a loaf of bread and feed however many he was supposed to have fed and make water into uh, wine. And when you believe it, see, the, re the, the, the true test of a leader is when you've trained other people to be leaders. It's in you, kids. I mean, you can do it. If you want it bad enough and um, you stay focused and you're willing to uh, maintain that commitment. And again, it's always uh, legal, moral, and ethical. But I mean, you can do it.